Hey guys, I'm Aaron Tipping, I'm a fully qualified ski instructor, a Basie trainer and a co-founder of Amazing Sport. Today we're here in Corsero 1850 and we've got four tips to take your skiing from snow plough turns to parallel skiing. This video is for you if you're comfortably linking your snow plough turns on easy terrain. Tip one before we get moving, we're just going to look at a drill called the bow tie drill that's going to help us understand the movement that we make to take our skis from a snow plough to parallel. Okay, we're going to practice this drill somewhere on the flat so that our skis can't slide away from us. Okay, let's start with our right ski. What we're looking to do is we're looking to keep our foot and our toe piece of the binding in the same place and we're looking to point our tips of our skis and the tail of our skis in one direction and then the other. Then one direction, then the other. And this rotation that we're achieving with the ski whilst it's flat is going to be very similar to the movement that we make when we're taking our snow plow to parallel at the end of the turn. Let's give this a quick go on the other side. So I'm going to use my left foot and again, I'm going to try and keep my toes and my foot in the same position and I'm just going to rotate the ski. But once we've finished practicing this movement, when we remove the ski, we have a lovely bow tie shape in the snow. Okay, so in the middle of the bow tie, this is where the front of my foot was and my binding piece. This has stayed still and you can see here, it's super skinny. Okay, the ski hasn't slid here at all. It's rotated around this point here. Okay, so this movement is really important for us to get to parallel because it mimics the progression from going from the snowplow shape where we are on both of our inside edges to a flat ski, to rotating, to matching the skis in the same direction when we ski parallel. Okay, let's try and mimic that bow tie movement whilst we're doing a plow parallel. My skis point across the hill and in the traverse. I'm trying to come to parallel skis. Okay, this feeling just here at the end of the turn when I rotate my foot to come in parallel across the hill is exactly the same movement that we were practicing whilst we were standing still with the bow tie drill. So as I rotate my foot here, I'm in parallel. So I'm back to my snow plow, round the turn and parallel. Okay, so if we've tried that movement a few times and we're still struggling to really achieve a flat ski at the end of the snowplow turn, we've got a little tip that might make this a little bit easier. So we're just going to do a small tap with the inside ski of the snowplow as we finish the turn and this will really help us with the movement to flatten the ski off and find that flat base in parallel skiing. Okay, so just a small tap. We're just going to do a big snowplow turn and as I come round, I'm just going to tap the inside ski. Big snowplow turn, I'm just going to unweight the ski, tap it and now my skis are nice and parallel. So, just going to start the next turn in a big snowplow. As I come round the turn here, I'm just going to tap, 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 back to parallel. Once we've practiced that a few times and we're really getting used to the movement of being parallel in the traverse of the turn after we tap the ski round to match them, what we're going to try now is have a slightly smaller snow plow, which makes it a less of a movement for us to go from a plow turn to parallel skis on the way round the corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push off here. My first turn is going to be a slightly smaller snow plow. Just to be aware, when we practice a smaller plow, we're going to pick up more speed. So it's really important that we round the turn off and that we practice on nice gentle terrain. Okay, let's give this a try with a smaller plow. As you can see, my snow plow is a lot smaller and it helps me to pick up a little bit more speed and the rotation of my inside leg. So as we do this turn here, the rotation of this leg is far, far smaller than it was before when I was doing a big snow plow. If my weight is more in the middle or inside the turn, it's really difficult for me to rotate this ski and get to a flat ski. Really important to come to here, balance over the outside, and then it gives me the ability to move this ski and match it to a parallel turn. OK, 
Okay, great work guys. We're at the last stage to ski in parallel. Now we have to practice matching the skis to parallel as early in the turn as possible. Let's go give it a go. Okay, now I'm gonna try and match my skis in the four line. So I'm gonna start the turn in my small, small snow plow and my skis are already parallel by the time I'm in the four line. And then I round the turn off, small snow plow at the top, parallel by the four line, finish the turn off across the hill. One more of those. Small snow plow to start the turn, parallel in the four line, rotate both skis across the hill. So these next couple, I'm not even gonna try and use my snow plow. I'm just going to keep my skis parallel, rotate both the skis across the hill at the same time, and make sure that inside knee is rolling into the hill, creating the same edge angles on both skis. Okay, so we should feel the same feeling that we were feeling at the end of the turns above when we were using our snow plow, but we're gonna use that feeling from the very start of the turn. Again, we're trying to balance over the outside ski as early as possible. So my shoulders are coming to the outside and helping me balance over both skis. And we're gonna rotate them across the hill using our parallel skis. Congrats guys, well done. Those are our first parallel turns. If you want to build some confidence and go explore the mountain, book a lesson on Maison Sport.